Hi, my name is Edward. If you use OpenLP and OBS, you will probably at some stage want to add the lyrics to OBS. Now, it's possible to do, to do that using green screening, but there's actually a better way uh, so that, that doesn't require green screening and works immediately. And also, you might also want to add a controller so you can control the slides directly from within OBS. So let's work out how to do it. Let's add this controller first. To add the controller, what you need to do is inside OpenLP, you go to settings and then you go to manage plugins. You've got to make sure that the remote plugin is active. Okay, that's the first step. Second step is to go to settings, configure OpenLP, and then go down to remote. So when you go to remote, what you'll see is that there's a remote UE. That's actually that controller you see in a web form. So I'm going to click on that link, and then I'm going to copy that URL. Now, noting that the, it could be running on a different computer. So your, your OpenLP could be running on a different computer to OBS, or it could be running on the same computer. You might have two people operating the system, one person on OpenLP, the other one on OBS, or you can have one person operating both OpenLP and OBS. They don't conflict with each other. It's just another remote control for the same thing. So you can see here, if I'm using it, that I can select different songs. And what you'll notice is that the actual projector screen changes. What I do then is I go to View, and I go to Docs, and then I go to Custom Browser Docs. So a custom browser docs allows me to embed an entire web page directly into OBS. And then what happens is I simply paste that URL here. Uh, I think I had to click on the service manager, right? So you might want to go directly to the service manager. If so, you can do that too, or you can go directly to a slide if you want to. And then you just hit apply. And close. So what happens then is you need to turn on that browser interface, that custom doc. So you go to view, docs, and you can see, I've, I've already added here just to show you, but I can take it away and you can see it's, it, it is part of OBS because I can do the same thing. I go to view, docs, and then turn on that custom browser docs. And you can see now I can control those slides fairly rapidly, fairly immediately. So the second part, how do you add the lower thirds? So adding the lower thirds is a little bit trickier. And this is how you do it. You go to Tools in OpenLP. In OpenLP, you go to Tools, and then you go to Open Data Folder. Next, in the actual data folder of OpenLP, right, you create a new folder called Stages. So you go to New and then you type in the word stages, and then you hit enter. And then you go into that folder, and then you unzip the file that I've linked below. Once you unzip that file, you see a whole bunch of new folders there. Um, and what you'll find is that you can now add what's called a browser source inside OBS. So to do that, you just gotta hit the plus button down the bottom, and hit browser, and in that browser source, you need to enter a special URL. So this is probably the only tricky part. The URL you need to add, well, this, it should be the IP address of your OBS, sorry, your OpenLP instance there. And then you've got to add slash stage and then slash lower third. You can enter in the width and then the height, and then you just hit OK. Well, you should see a preview of the window there. Click OK here. And when you do that, it should appear here as a new source. And then you can reorder it and then bring it up to the top so that the lower thirds are now available. So now we have a controller here. And we also have our lower thirds active. We can change slides immediately. And you can see it's controlling OpenLP, which can be on a different computer. Um, or the person using OpenLP can also control the slides.
You might have noticed a, a bug with the open LP slide controller that can occur occasionally uh, where you can't this this scroll bar over here just disappears there's a really quick way of fixing that up you just right click and then you hit refresh and then the scroll bar will reappear that can sometimes happen if you're adding an extra item and then you suddenly find you can't scroll down anymore quite simple fix you just right click and then hit refresh okay bye